Eternal life. Wow. Ooh, that's a good question. Um. That's something we don't understand a lot about. What is eternal life? Mm, living, it's to know God and to be with Him forever. I'm not sure. There's a lot of different things that eternal life encompasses. Um, I don't think it necessarily means living here on this earth for the, for the rest of our lives, but I think it means um, our souls and our spirits will live forever. Eternal life is salvation through Jesus Christ that we enjoy today as believers in Jesus Christ and will enjoy forever in eternity with Him. Eternal life is life with God in heaven, His kingdom. How would you say someone can have eternal life? By doing what God says. Eternal life is um, life with Christ. It doesn't just start when you die. It starts when you become born again with Christ. What is eternal life? Eternal life is a gift from God that allows us to, through our faith in Christ, to dwell with Him for eternity in heaven. We know it's a joyful time and it's really a matter of helping others to receive the blessings that we have achieved at that point. Really the journey is where we find our joy and helping others is kind of a continuance of that journey, but it also does include the perpetuation of eternal families and growing your family. Life with God. To live forever with uh, the Father. Eternal life is security in Christ forever. Spiritual life in Jesus Christ, living forever in eternity with God in heaven. Life with God for all eternity. Life with, with Jesus in the afterlife. What would you say eternal life is? Oh, I think eternal life is living with God and your family forever. And Jesus. Eternal life is that your eternal soul that God created is given life in Christ after death. It's given to you because of the blood of Christ and given that you would live to glorify Him forever. Eternal life is when we're able to live not just for the extent of the time that we're here on earth, but for the, like, eternity. Eternity is very hard to, something very hard to understand. Eternal life is to know uh, God and the one, how did Jesus say it? To know the Father and He whom He has sent. Like I'm going up John 17 through I believe it's John 17. Mm -hmm. Eternal life. I know, in other words, it begins now. It's new life. It's, es it's eschatological life. It's life that we were designed to have as humans, but because of the fall and our fall from glory, we cannot have it. But through Christ, we can. And it would be really boring, honestly, if there wasn't like any progression or any becoming a better you in a way. Really, that's a lot of what the church believes is how we can just become better people and prepare our lives to be more focused on God so that we can become more like Christ and have Christ-like attributes in our lives here and to prepare to become like Christ in the life hereafter. What is eternal life? Eternal life is being with God forever because of what Christ has done. I think of essentially eternal life, what I think of is a life where we are with Jesus for eternity, free from sin, in the presence of the Father for all eternity. Being able to, like obviously, like obviously the goal is to like live with God again. Like that, that is the goal. And I feel like eternal life is going to be like a lot like that. It's, yeah, it's hard to ask a question that we have no concept with mortality, right? Mm -hmm. Like ask a mortal to have a concept about eternity. Like it's, it's kind of hard, right? Yeah, and that's sure. supposed to be it, right? Well, all we do know is that we're gonna have, like, we're gonna have fulfillment through our relationships in the eternity. To know the, to know God the Father and His Son whom He has sent, John 17, three. Eternal life, that's a great question. I would say eternal life is, you know, life with God. I mean, it says that in the Bible, eternal life is to know Him and to be with Him. Eternal life is essentially living forever with God in glory in heaven. Can you tell me what eternal life is? Eternal life is basically the concept of being able to live with our Father in heaven again. Like eternal life is, you can take that into multiple perspectives. Like We believe as Latter-day Saints that we have the opportunity to, one, live after this life in one of three kingdoms. And uh, at the highest kingdom, the celestial kingdom, we can live with our Father in heaven again. Eternal life. It's living forever, glorifying God, 
in all eternity, enjoying Him uh, in all eternity. Eternal life is being able to live in God's presence forever with our families. I'd have to second that, just being with people we love forever with our families within God's presence. What is eternal life? Eternal life is knowing Jesus and believing on Him. It's Jesus, He took our place. Isaiah 61.10, when we can be clothed in His righteousness, He takes our robes of unrighteousness, Isaiah 64.4, and He clothes us in His robes of righteousness. And no, eternal life is knowing Jesus and trusting in Him and Him alone is the only sufficient Savior. Okay, so after hearing some of those answers, I have a couple observations that I thought were pretty interesting. By and large, most of the evangelicals answered essentially the same thing. Some variation of uh, eternal life was living with Christ or dwelling with God or spiritual life in Christ or knowing God or something like that. Latter-day Saints often had very similar answers. Most of them said something about living with God or dwelling in his kingdom, dwelling in celestial glory in one case. But I thought it was really interesting what Latter-day Saints tended to add to that that the evangelicals didn't. It seems like a lot of people really pointed to uh, living with their family as an essential part of eternal life. And I think that's one pretty notable distinction between the answers. Uh, for Christians, the idea of living with God is the essence of eternal life, dwelling with him. John 17.3 says this, and this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. In Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46, Jesus is talking about final judgment. He's talking about the separation of the sheep and the goats. The very end of this chapter says, and these will go away into eternal punishment, talking about the goats, but the righteous into eternal life. So in this chapter, it seems like there's a division between those who go to eternal punishment and those who go to eternal life. So it seems like eternal life is really the opposite of punishment. It's the opposite of judgment for, uh, from God. So it's not just the idea that we live forever and our spirits continue to exist. So this dwelling with God in his kingdom includes a kind of salvation from eternal punishment. I think that's an integral part of understanding what eternal life is.